bishop e7, e3, and castle. And this is actually the position that I, I would love to talk about. It, basically, we can start from here. Uh, very interesting position. Um, well, not very exciting. You know, it's, uh, it's a little bit close, right? And uh, white has bishop pair. Black has a very solid position, good development. There is no bishop on c8, no problems like with a, let's say, light square bishop. Uh, and uh, I, I just want to show you, I, I have actually, uh, in, in my favorite Catalan, I have something very, very similar to this position. Uh, I'll take really quickly, like a few moves back. And there is this variation that I uh, had already, I don't know, like maybe around five games. So that's one of the main lines and very popular line on the high level, just, just resembles a little bit what we have right now. Uh, so that, that's all theory, but I just want to get to the final position of this line. So there is this position, queen c6, rook c8, queen b5. I feel like, well, it's the same pawn structure, obviously. I don't think like b6 move makes a difference. And then the theory starts here, basically. The theory starts here. I used to play, well, I'm still kind of like playing this for white. I'm always happy to get this position, but uh, there are a lot of grandmaster games where uh, like black players are very strong, elite players, and they're doing fine here. Now, getting back to d4, <clears throat> bishop e7. Now, we are talking about setups, and, and I wanted to make this very important point. e3 is the main move, which we, like all the games will be around e3. But I wanted to mention also another setup, which is uh, b3. b3, why not? Why not to play if b3? e3 if blocks the bishop. Why to commit for this move? Uh, b3, uh, castle, bishop b2. Uh, but by the way, uh, by the way, I wanted to ask you if, let's say, there, there is this interesting idea, queen a5. Seems quite logical to me. How you would respond if you play white to such a move, queen a5? What do you think, guys? And why? I, I want to know the reason. Okay, guys. So very, very interesting that, I mean, I don't know how many answers I got, probably over 20, but there was only one guy one guy, uh, let me get his name, uh, <clears throat> Altuk, Altuk. So he was the only one who came up with this interesting move. Uh, like, well, obviously, bishop b2, bishop d2, and knight a4. Those were like three top choices. Let, let's cover one by one. Uh, now, bishop b2, there is an obvious problem. Bishop a3. So if we play wide, we probably shouldn't allow this, right? Because what we have in this position, it's bishop pair advantage in long run, right? At least something. Now, if he gets rid of this bishop pair, like I think like it's just that equal, right? It's still game, of course, we have queens and everything. Now, bishop d2, uh, I, I actually, I even know about knight d4 tactics, but I'm uh, uh, knight d4, knight d5. Oh, well, knight, so just a pawn is hanging, right, guys? I mean, I can take because there is knight of three. So it just tactically doesn't work. Just tactically doesn't work. And uh, queen d2 looks not that great because, well, at least I can play the same bishop before bishop a3, right? Uh, or, or maybe bishop a3 right away. Like why, 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 why I should go bishop before first, right? So that's, uh, once again, uh, getting rid of bishop pair. Now, knight a4, I am not sure. I, I don't think like there is, let's say, a very clear refutation. But my problem <clears throat> that this knight, when it moves away from c3, we have uh, potentially like b5 can come one day. And I'm also wondering about this move. I'm not sure how to respond because we cannot even develop bishop b2 now. There will be knight d2 threat, right? And uh, what is happening? And now b5 somewhere already possibility. I don't know. So there is, there is a move which is <clears throat> looks strange, but actually the strongest one in this position. When you play queen d3, you actually avoid all these problems with the trades. 
And I think even queen on a5 appears to be slightly misplaced. So it, like I, I wouldn't recommend this for, for black. Now what is happening, obviously, let's say if bishop b4, now we can safely play bishop d2 because the pawn on d4 is protected. Now what else? Bishop a3, also bishop d2. And knight b4, not a big deal. I think we can just like, move away queen d2 and then like a3 before and so on. And uh, our idea just now, there is no tactics. It's we are talking about strategy. Uh, White's goal to maintain bishop pair, that's all right now. It's just very simple goal, right? Uh, that's the point. 